Yes, yeah, so like you. Uh, and to be and to be subject to payments, according to all the iniquities of our fathers. Iniquity goes into us, sin upon sin. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. So because of the sins of our fathers, which, which, that was us, you know, in our past lives, because reincarnation is real. Because we've, we've lived many lives, you know, we've, we've been here on earth, you know, in many lifetimes. So the sins of our fathers, that's talking about us, you know, in our past lives when he's, when he sinned against the most high. And 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 we're paying for it right now right it says to be subject unto payments you know we, we're being we're being subject unto payments right now jake have to pay rent we have to pay you know car note if you have a car we have to pay insurance we have to uh we have to look after our our uh we have to look after our children you know they go to school you know, we have to uh, make sure that they're good. You know, that's another bill right there. Uh, we have to pay water bill, electric bill. You know, it it's just a whole bunch of bills that stacked on top of each other that we can't escape. And we don't make enough money, you know, to have something left over after we've finished, finished paying all of our bills and our debt so this is all this is all a uh, judgment from the most high you know you know to be here in babylon and to be to be subject unto payments you know and to be uh and to be in captivity and to be in in captivity still under the so-called white man right so let me go back to Romans chapter 9. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Right? So that's the most high. He's going to show mercy and compassion to, 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 to whom he will. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. So it's all up to the Most High. Uh, you go down to verse 21. Hath not the potter power over the clay? The potter is the most high, and the clay are us, men, m man on earth, right? Hath not the pot, hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Yeah, because uh, man, you know, is made, is made from the dust of the ground. <clears throat> we didn't go back to Genesis. And, uh, the Lord made one lump, you know, one vessel unto honor, one unto dishonor. The one unto honor are you so-called Israelites, Salakia. The one unto honor are you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the one and the one unto dishonor is the wicked, you know, is the devil that's that's ruling the earth right now, and that's the Edomites, the so-called white man. They're the vessel that's made unto dishonor. So the so the most high hates so-called white people. Even though they're in power, even though they're living it up, even though you know they they have the best of everything, they live in the best neighborhoods. You know, they're in heaven right now and we're in hell. But it's all a lesson for us. Because they won't be in power forever. They're about to be, you know, uprooted out of power. By Yahweh Shai. What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured 
with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. So the Most High is long suffering right now because Esau is doing all this wickedness. He's murdering, he's murdering Jake constantly. He's declaring unrighteous decrees. He's uh, about to, he's about to form, you know, laws and mandates to make this this MOTB mandatory, which that's his stamp. That's that's his mark. You know, so that if you take that, you belong to him. You belong to him. You you don't belong to the Most High. If you're an Israelite and you take that MOTB, if you take that CHIP. That, that RFID CHIP That means you forsook the most high And now you belong to the devil Now you belong to the so called white man Do not take The mark Do not take the MOTB Do not take the RFID MOTB Which is going to be either in your right hand or your forehead Don't take it If you take it the most high will destroy you By thermonuclear missiles oh, Right It says And to make his power known then the Most High is going to make his power known. How? Endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. So, the Most High is, uh, the Most High is, the Most High is allowing Esau to, to, to rack up, you know, all this, all this, uh, all this iniquity, right? Because, Esau took the Bible, he took the scriptures, and then he took on our identity, saying that, saying that, saying that, uh, he's a so called Jew, and saying that they're the Israelites. So, so from you did that. Now, the now. Now the laws, now the scriptures apply to you, and they've been going off this whole time, when they, when they've been uh, proclaiming themselves to be the children of the Most High, right? They they just been going off and going off and going off, right? And they have, you know, racked up all this uh, uh all this uh wickedness. For hundreds of years, you know, against the Most High, you know, against the Son of the Most High, even against the angels, because they say that the angels look like them. They say that the angels look like uh, uh, white, uh, white babies. You know, they say that the angels look white. They saying that the Most High is white. They saying that Yahweh Shai is white, and they're saying that they, they're the real children. They are the real children of Israel. Which is not true, right? And they've they've been oppressing our people. You know they've they they've ran you know experiments in our people. They have uh uh they have uh, gave our people uh uh uh, uh diseases. You know they've they they've made it to where. They trap Jake in a box, and uh, and uh, it's hard for Jake to get out of that box. And the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. So the Most High, you know, is allowing Esau to rack up all this wickedness, just to destroy him, just to take him down like nothing, and to destroy him to show his power to show that. He is the Most High, and He's gonna do that through Yahweh and the angels, and that He might make known the riches of His glory on the vessels of mercy, because the Most High is gonna show us mercy. The elect of the nation of Israel is gonna show us mercy, and overall, the whole nation of Israel is gonna show mercy, because the two thirds is gonna come back in the kingdom. You know, through through the loins of the elect, they're gonna be uh, the children of the elect in the kingdom, and when they're born in the kingdom, they're gonna be perfect. 
you, you know, they won't sin. But it's only the elect, you know, doing the first, doing the first go round. The elect is going to be saved from destruction, and the bodies are going to be changed into perfect bodies. You know, they're going to have spiritual power, and they won't sin again. But, but the rest of, but the rest of the nation of Israel, they, they, they're going to have to receive that mercy and that blessing. You know, in the kingdom, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Right. So. This is Proverbs chapter three. Uh, Proverbs chapter Salakia. Proverbs chapter sixteen and verse four. The Lord hath made all things for Himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. And the day of evil is it's talking about Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, right? When the whole world is going to be tried. With that mark, with the MOTB, and you won't be able to buy or sell anything without that mark, <clears throat> right? And also, you know that day of evil is talking about the destruction that's coming to Babylon, the great, the, the great destruction that's coming to America, because America will be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. These people here, you know, they're walking around, they're going shopping, they're going to clubs. Uh, they're uh, going to these restaurants. They still have their jobs. You know, they're able to pay their bills somewhat because, you know, even, even, even these Edomites, even these so-called white people are starting to feel it because, because, because it, this economy is going down, but it's all by design to bring in that that digital dollar to bring in that uh that mark, you know, to 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 to, to bring forth the great reset. Even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Most High has a wicked, which is the so-called white man. He has him for the day of evil, which is to destroy him. That's it. Uh, we'll go to Ezekiel. Chapter 25. Salakia. Um... It's like about the noise. I'm outside. This is Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 12. Thus saith the Lord power. Because. That Edom hath dealt. Against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. The house of Judah. Are. Are you. Are you so-called Negro tribes? Right? The the kingdom of Judah are is uh Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which are the so-called African Americans. Benjamin, you so-called West Indians, and and you Levites, the tribe of Levi, are you so-called Haitians, right? Right? That Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah. You know, the tribe of Judah first is the so-called African Americans, the so-called Negroes. And then the house of Judah, which is the kingdom of Judah. You know, it's talking about the Negro tribes. Uh, the, 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 the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. By taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. And that's what's happening now. Esau was once was once under us, you know, during uh, during 
during the reign of uh, King David and King Solomon, Esau was actually under us. We, we are, uh, we had, we had the so-called white people, you know, in subjection, and also, and also during the Dark Ages, you know, we had, uh, we had these so-called, so-called white people under us, because uh, in Negroes, you, you so-called, yeah, you so-called Negroes, right? You Israelites. You actually ruled Europe during the Dark Ages, which is something that Esau uh, tries his best, you know, to keep a secret. But the truth will always overcome the lies, and and the truth has been being brought out by uh, by our apostles and elders, and you know their their elders before them, and on down to. The elders under them and the brothers under them, right? And had and revenge himself upon them. So all this, you know, that's going on right now with 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 Esau ruling the world and oppressing Jake, is just vengeance and revenge. <laughs> and is and it goes back to what we did to them in the ancient world, and it also goes back to the actual men Jacob and Esau because 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 Esau sold his birthright to Jacob which is a dumb thing to do Esau sold his birthright to Jacob and then after he's like oh, oh what have I done when uh when uh when when uh when Jacob sold his uh sold his birthright Salakia when Esau sold his birthright to Jacob for uh pottage you know you know for uncooked meat you know you know the food wasn't even done yet and then he's like oh I'm I'm hungry from from hunting you know so you know you know it don't matter if the food is done you know just give it to me I'll sell you my birthright Let me go to Ezekiel chapter 35, right? Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So, Esau has a perpetual hatred against Jacob. And that word perpetual. Perpetual. What is it going to? Long duration. Antiquity. Antiquity. Antiquity goes back to old time. Ancient times. Since the ancient times. Since thousands of years ago. Since going back to the actual man Jacob and the actual man Esau. Because Esau sold his... Uh, uh, birthright, and then he got his uh, blessing taken away from him, you know, by Jacob. Futurity forever, everlasting, evermore. Ancient time, long time. So, for a long time, since thousands of years ago, Esau has always hated Jacob because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and what is the modern day sword the modern day sword is the gun the modern day sword is a tank right because the sword is just a weapon right so so the modern day uh, spear you know the modern day uh, 
bow and arrow that they had in the ancient world, you know, that's a gun. You know? So the modern day sword is a gun. And Esau was was blessed with the sword. You know, that's why, you know, Esau has these weapons in space. That's why Esau has all this futuristic uh technology concerning weapons right he has a uh, sonic weapons you know he has a uh, heat seeking bullets bullets that could curve you know just to get you you know he has a uh, uh, uh he, he has he has all types of weapons you know not to not to go too much into it and does his blessing as a sword and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword which this is literally what happened the deputy which is an Edomite you know the officer the cop he shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword he he executed Sanya uh, Massey in cold blood right that's what happened in the time of their calamity in the time of their iniquity had an end therefore as I live saith the Lord power I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee uh, since thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee yeah, the, when it all goes down, you know, during Jacob's trouble, you, you know, these Edomites are going to uh, uh, destroy a lot of our people, but a lot of these Edomites are going to de get destroyed as well. And um, when those missiles fly off from Russia and from China and from Turkey and from you know all those all the all those countries that are against America which which America's allies is going to be turned against them because it's prophecy as well you know if you're not if you're not an Israelite you know if you're not an Israelite if you're not a so-called Negro Latino Native American you won't be delivered by the angels by Hawashai and the angels right and be saved from nuclear destruction be saved from the destruction by fire and if you're not a Salaka and furthermore if you're not of the elect of the nation of Israel of Israel then you then then you won't be saved so all these Edomites all these so-called white people all these heathens that's gonna be here when those missiles come they're gonna be destroyed <clears throat> and uh, these these Edomites you know, and all these people that that are that are going to be uh, uh, shipped off, you know, into the Middle East to fight World War III, they won't make it back, you know. And furthermore, after that, when Yahushai and the elect comes down. You know, after the destruction, you know, these these Edomites and these heathen nations, you know, they're going to be carted off into slavery. You know, and we we're going to do unto them what they did unto us, but way worse, way, way worse. So they are they they are they they killed us during slavery. You know we're gonna do the same thing unto them in righteousness because it's righteous you know it's our uh, vengeance and um This is when 
Esau got his blessing blessing stolen, right? He uh he sold his birthright for uh for a pottage. Let me let me go into it. This is Genesis chapter 25 verse 29 and Jacob sought pottage and Esau came from the field as he was faint because the so-called white man is known for hunting he's known for being in the field but Jacob you know you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans you know you're you're known for not doing that as he was faint meaning he was weary he was tired and Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Because Edom, you know, the Hebrew word Adawam means red. Right? Esau, you know, go back to go back to Aishashua or, or Aisha means wasted away is he because when he was born. He, uh, he had no pigment. You know, he's red. He had no pigment. So the blood shows forth uh, through his skin. His, uh, translucent skin. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage for I am faint therefore was his name called Edom because the pottage wasn't even done cooking you know you know our people uh, us, us so called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans were known for our, our food being well done our, our meat being well done but the so called white man he's known for having his his meat his meal being medium rare and he's also known for eating uh, 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 um, uh, meat that's not even cooked and this is a sign right here showing that uh, the so called white man is Esau you know they're, they're the nation of Edom for I am faint therefore was his name called Edom and Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. So this is Jacob, which, which uh, in the Hebrew means Yaquab, Yaquab, which means a planter. So he told his brother Esau, sell me a birthright for this food. And Esau, that's what he did. He, he couldn't wait. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit, what benefit, what profit shall this birthright do to me? So, the birthright, which is, which is of the firstborn, because the firstborn son, you know, uh, got the greater blessing. You know, the firstborn son got the birthright, right? But, but in this case, it went to, it went to the lastborn, it went to the secondborn because it was all set up in the spirit because it says the uh the 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 elder shall serve the younger the elder brother was Esau he's going to serve Jacob and that's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven and Esau said behold I am at the point to die and what profit shall this birthright do unto me and Jacob said <laughs> Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. So Esau sold this great blessing. He sold his birthright for red pottage. Pottage, you know, uh, meat that wasn't even cooked. The food wasn't even done cooking yet. And Esau, the so-called white man, he sold his birthright away because he was a little bit tired. He couldn't wait. And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto, swore unto him, and he sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau 
bread and pottage of lentils and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way thus Esau despised his birthright so you despise your birth you despise your own birthright and now it's like you still have hatred for Jacob but you sold your birthright unto Jacob you sold your birthright unto us because the most I set it up that way you know the wicked was created for the day of destruction and it says in Romans 9 the the uh, the the uh, vessel of dishonor you know fitted for destruction you know Esau was a uh, Esau was uh, made to be destroyed Esau was made to be Jacob's servant from day one that's how the Lord set it up he was made to be Jacob's servant now let me go to verse uh, uh, ch Genesis chapter 27 Uh, this, this is the blessing uh, Esau stole his uh, Esau um, sold his birthright to Jacob now this is the blessing the stolen blessing right now let me go down to Now to end it off, this is Genesis chapter 27 verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, and Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. So Esau was crying, right, that uh that Jacob supplanted him again because uh their mother Rebecca uh told Jacob to dress up like Esau you know to dress up in a goat uh, goat skin right and to and to bring bring uh, bring Jacob his favorite meal for, from what he always got from Esau right and then uh, and then Isaac uh, gave gave the blessing to Jacob instead of Esau but Esau was Isaac's favorite because he was the firstborn. And Isaac was, was Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation. So Yahweh Shai gave the so-called white <laughs> Yahweh Shai gave the so-called white man the blessing of the sword. Right? Bless me, even me also, O my father. Esau and Esau lifted up his voice and wept, so he was crying to his father Isaac because Isaac was uh Isaac was going blind so that's how Jacob was able was able to supplant you know supplant his brother Esau and get the blessing by the way of his by the way of his mother Rebekah and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven and, and of the dew of heaven from above so Esau live in the best places of the earth you know Esau lives in abundance you know here here in New York when you go out to Long Island especially like in S Suffolk County because there's Nassau County and then there's Suffolk County when you go to Suffolk County that's where are the that's where the wealthy 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 Edomites are they're not even rich because you have rich and then you have wealthy that's where the wealthy wealthy Edomites are that, that that's where the real wealthy well-to-do Edomites are they don't have to worry about anything some of them don't don't even go to su supermarkets because they 
they have their own uh, they have their own towns or communities to where they have their own farms they don't have to go to the supermarket they have their own farms they have their own animals they have their own uh, 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 crops they live in the best life over there and by the sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy thy brother which that did happen so Esau lives by the sword Esau uh, conquered the earth you know Esau conquered our people so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans by the sword you know you know he mar he he slayed millions of uh, Native Americans and millions of Negroes right and it shall come to pass when thou shall have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck and and now that happened you know during the time of the kings when when the Edomites revolted you know against Israel and and uh they are uh, they 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 are uh, stop being slaves under us and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the so-called white man said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then I will slay my brother Jacob so I'm gonna end it right there it says Esau hated Jacob the so-called white man hated the so-called black man because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him so because Jacob supplanted Esau for the blessing from their father from their father from their father Isaac Esau hated so Jacob Bible Bible yeah I'm doing a lesson so yeah I'll listen. and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing worth his father blessed him so so Esau already got the blessing it says no Esau already got a blessing from Isaac right it says by the sword thou shalt live the so-called white man you know he he got control of the the whole earth and all these nations by the force of the sword he made war with all these nations because he always had the best weapons you know he went into went into the native americans he slaughtered them he went you know he went into uh the other uh the other so-called indian tribes of central and south america he s slaughtered them by the sword and also by deception you know he went into asia you know he went into africa you know went into europe you know he went into australia you know those uh those aborigines of australia he uh c c conquered them by the sword you know by murder right so so esau got a blessing already he he got the sword and then he got the fatness of the earth. You know, Esau lives in the best, best places on earth. And now he hates Jacob. But he already got a blessing. So he, he sold his birthright. And now he got mad that Jacob stole his blessing. But that was set up. So what does Jacob do now? Uh, one second, one second. I gotta pee, that's why. No, no, it's alright, bro. You're good. I'll go pee. Um, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand because because Isaac uh Isaac was in his old age and he was about to die. So the days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So Esau hated Jacob from then, and this hatred for Jacob still carries on to this very day, which leads me to go back to this this recent event that just happened, this incident, right? Which it wasn't an incident; it was done on purpose. <coughs> of a. Uh, let me read it. Body cam video. And, and then it says, Illinois deputy 
fatally shoots Sonia Massey, a black woman who, who called 911. So this so-called black woman, this Judite woman, this Israelite woman, you know, she represents Jacob, and then she called for help. And then this Edomite, you know, this deputy, this this uh this white man uh this white man executed her because because Esau hates Jacob. And that's plain and simple and Esau will never love Jacob. We will never ever get reparations. These other heathen nations get reparations every year and every month. Because the Japanese they get reparations for what have uh been done to them uh uh, uh, during World War II, you know, they got bombed. Uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki got bombed, right? They get reparations. These so-called Ish people get reparations. But we that has been here for hundreds of years, being oppressed by the so-called white man, we don't get any reparations because it will never happen. Esau hates Jacob. And what we have to do is have faith and pray and endure to the end and not take the MOTB because Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to to deliver us because the reparations you know uh the uh the 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 reparation let me let me look into let me look into it right because reparations goes into it says here the making of amends for a wrong that has been done by paying money or so like it, by paying money to or otherwise helping those who have been wronged. And that, that will never ever happen. That's why the Lord is gonna destroy this place. And the uh, the uh the uh the, the words that are similar to reparations are amends, restitution, compensation, recompense, right? Repayment. And when you go into the book of Joel, it says that uh, these nations, these heathen nations, especially the so-called white man, for what they've done to his people, you know, they can't, they can't recompense, you know, him for what they did to his people. They will be the reparations. They will be the recompense, right? When you go into the word recompense, make amends to someone for loss, harm, for loss or harm suffered. Compensate for so for compensation, for pay for what they have done to us. They will be the reparations. Esau and the Esau, the so-called white man, and these how they heathen nations, they will be the reparations. They will be the re, they will be the recompense. They will be the compensation. So, they can't pay us. the The Lord won't allow the so-called white man to to pay us for what he did to our people, because they themselves will go into captivity and they will be the recompense their own bodies they themselves will be the reparations for what they've done to us he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity right he that leadeth into captivity this is revelation chapter 13 verse 10 he that leadeth in he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And the word patience means to suffer. So we're suffering all of this that's going on right now. We're suffering going through hell. Uh, being tried by the Lord. You know, until the Lord deliver us from the destruction. Of Babylon the Great, the faith of the saints. The saints 
are Israelites. And right now the Lord is dealing with the elect of Israel. And the one that led us into captivity, the so-called white man, uh, and also these other heathen nations too, but first starting with the so-called white man, they're going to go into captivity and then they're going to be killed with the sword. And that's the end of the lesson. Lord will, it was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, Bashim, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.